still got to you know go out there, uh, do our job, um, you know, be good, be good citizens in our community, and be, be good people, and, and try to uh, reflect uh, our image um, in the New York Giants in a positive way. When two-time Super Bowl MVP Eli Manning talks, people tend to listen. At least the NFL hopes so, because after seeing its third player in a week removed from his team over domestic abuse charges, the latest Arizona running back Jonathan Dwyer, Brand Grew, uh, Grant Cardone says the league has got to do a lot more to counter the impression that doesn't look good. Um, bringing Eli Manning out, I mean, is a step in the right direction, but what now? Neil, look, they need uh, clear, very clear rules. In life and in games, there's clear, clear rules, penalties and rewards. There's more penalties against hitting a quarterback today in the NFL than there are against ch hitting children or spouses. All right, but I, I always wonder if there's going to be hell to pay for the NFL. Then all the sponsors, uh, they, they'd be up and leaving now. But, but, but they, they get all high and mighty and say, oh, we find this ghastly and horrible. But I have yet to see anyone leave. Why is that? You mean you mean the spectators? The They're sponsors, not going to leave the game. The but sponsors. the sponsors. Oh, the sponsors. There's too much money involved. But that doesn't exactly. mean the brand, the NFL brand, is not being tarnished by not taking a stand. This is not about, like Eli Manning says, about education. This is about clear, concise rules. Look, you will be banned from the NFL if you uh, are found guilty of domestic abuse, child abuse, or any type of physical abuse, abuse off the field. It should be just very clear and, and a penalty so deep that these people will not use force off the field, which is what they're paid to do on the field. Yeah, but I, I don't think anything really moves the needle unless a sponsor just up and bolts. Now, apparently the problem is uh, the sponsor gets annoyed, uh, but, but the sponsor doesn't leave because someone will happily take a McDonald's place or Radisson Hotel's place. And I think that without that financial pressure, um, I don't think a lot of it's going to change. Maybe I'm jaded, but what do you think? Yeah, I think I think you're jaded. Then, if you if you offer that up to me, I mean, look, the the, the, well, the sponsor's sponsor not the left. one committing. Tell me one sponsor's left. No, they haven't. They haven't. Why would they? They didn't. Com they didn't commit the crime. The person that committed, nor did the NFL. But the NFL commits a crime in not being clear about the reward and the penalty. Look, I'm paid. They are paid to do well on the field. They should be penalized to create or cause crime off the field. It's just there's no clear law right now. If I'm going to lose a five million dollar contract, I'm not going to hit people off the field. It's going to be clear. It's not the sponsor's role. It's not Holiday Inn. Or an airlines to say I'm not going to go because, or I'm not going to advertise but because uh, Ray well, Rice. I guess I go back to the nerdy sponsor thing. But if I'm a sponsor and I say I really mean what I say, but I keep spending and supporting the NFL, then I don't mean what I say, and I'm a phony. Neil, if you go downstairs right now, cock somebody in the head, Rupert's probably going to uh, uh, get rid of you. Okay, it's not going to be your sponsors that should step up and say I'm never going to advertise on Fox because Neil Cavuto went and popped somebody in the head. Well, I don't think that would happen, but, but thanks for bringing attention. Of course it, it wouldn't, attention. unless you oh, eat too no. many donuts. <laughs> Grant Cardone, thank you very, very much.